Let's check out the latest printer from Two Trees. And not easy to open. Yeah, two hands needed. Need some power. So, okay. No further instructions. So I will lift here and some edges. A bit more. Yeah, it's working better. I will it with my foot, it's not that easy, it's quite heavy part. Oh, not that easy. Okay, we got it. See the it starts damaging the plastic film, but at the end it was strong enough to get it out. And here we got the two trees SK1 unwrapped. Just some foam is all around. And just remove it. There were no spare parts till this moment visible in the in the box. And now manual as well. Oh, quite easy. Let's see if they are not coupled. The spindles for Z axis are not coupled. So I can't can't easily raise the bed. Rotate every every on its own. So okay. But this was not a big problem at all. Now it became free. Screen seems to be the display. And the last box, I think, with all the tools. And this is what was inside the boxes. Display, display holder, some screws, tools. And that's interesting. The checklist, which all the checks that has been done in front of delivery of the SK1. Then we got 4 gigabyte micro SD, some antenna for Wi-Fi, USB flash drive, and this we will figure out what this is. Card reader, okay. Power cable, filament holder, filament, and the manual. At the moment, all access are blocked from these stoppers. They are attached with some screws. I think at the end, there are six of them. First, I will lose them. Here they are, small 3D printed blocks and now this should be movable yes x and y can be moved and here we can see the linear rails with sk1 on it can you read it, it looks nice and super big stepper motors they are they are really huge I think this cost this this thing should move 700 millimeter per square second maximum speed yeah and also huge acceleration for this we need power. The whole thing is made of metal. This is solid. Here is also also a frame where some uh, sideboards can be installed with screws or some threads all, already inserted. It's a little bit a pity that there is no door. Yeah, I think here is also for magnets. It's all, it's, everything is prepared but, ever, but at the end it's open. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, two trees missed a little bit. I was also asking them if it's possible to get this enclosure, but uh, it wasn't. So nevertheless, at the moment it's easy to reach everything, so um, no big deal. So display holder is installed. I was skipping one step this here with the filament holder because I got I use filament boxes, but right after this is the step for the display. And it's just just four wires. Also interesting. Um, yeah, just clip in the connector and then slide it like this, and it's done. That's the front, I think. Let's remove it. Okay. Now the antenna can be installed as well. As you know, the SK1 is a nice printer, but it's a little bit loud. So here we got a housing, and let's see if we can make this thing a bit quieter. Some weeks later, two trees finally sent the housing kit, so let's install it. Oh, it's a lot of parts. This shell kit, okay. Not just shell, also some ventilators. And that's in the box. Here we got two fans. I think this is the auxiliary cool uh, cooling fan for the part. And this is some um, fan to clean the air. 
This is with active carbon inside. You can hear it with a metal housing and we cut the walls. They are from metal, three ones of metal and two of glass and a lot of small bags with screws and some hinges. Yeah, I would say let's put it together. I'm super happy that two trees delivered this time. And now you see we got part list, installation steps, and it starts with installing the auxiliary fan. This one got a very interesting ducting. This part comes on top that the air is 200% sucked in from the outside. So we got just cool air uh, in case that the, the inner area is uh, heated up. So that's very nice. All the fans are installed and also the hinges for the front door. This is installation of the top box to make it a bit higher for the top cover. And this really nice mate. These are all aluminum parts with a super nice fit. And on top they got already installed a stripe of magnet. Also a hole is done through there and for the chain there is a special part for the back side. So it's time for the wiring. I disassembled the ground plate or the ground cover and here we can see the main board with the connectors and the cable, the delivered cable with the number one should be connected to fan zero and the second cable with the label two connected to fan one. And here we can see this, the one cable is on fan zero and the two cable, the green one is on fan one. But what they don't show how to run the wires. First I thought through this hole, but um, this doesn't work because of this, um, the cable will be squeezed. So I run the cable right to the back side through this big hole where also the power cables go along. They come out there. I think this works best. So it's nearly done. The door is installed and here's something left. A cover for this gap. And uh, there they just put in some stripe of vinyl. Uh, I think yeah, there could be some more quality part. Maybe some plastic stripes, some plastic profile. But nevertheless, the magnets work. It sounds not that that nice as on the bamboo lab when you close the door but it stays with the magnets i just saw that it doesn't work this way it is squeezed now i think this part has to be bonded here but there is no information in the instruction here is the last page and it starts with french okay i took a look again at the parts list and this is for the right pillar so i think they mean it is for this side to cover the magnets and now we got a better sound when closing the door and this seems to stay open. There's no way to cover this. This couldn't go in. Ah, okay, no, no, it works with a little press. Yeah, and this looks nice and clean and it's ready. Looks almost like a bamboo lab. Here's some view to the inside. This is how I saved the, the wires with these wire clips, two of them. Just in between, I think this looks good. Okay, it's ready. Let's have a look what's on the SD card from the SK-1. For us interesting is the config for Cura. They have two for Cura and for Pusa, Pusa Slicer. I use Cura, so let's take a look at this. And there we see, we see a lot of presets for different layer heights and qualities. And I already load them over or load them into Cura and here we can see it how this will looks like goes from 0 0.2 till 2.8 and I also added a lightweight PLA configuration because I print almost lightweight so this is set it and here we can take a look what I use for settings they are a bit different to normal ones, this is quite normal. The layer height 0.2 and the width 0.4. This is all normal, gyroid of course. But here the temperature, I 
print with this one really with high temperature, 270 degrees. The uh, print bed is relatively cool, 48 for the first layer and then it's uh, almost shut off on 28 degree. Here we got the, the flow, print with 58%, uh, also a bit more than uh, usual, but this means not more weight in the first stage. It's just other settings, which is uh, similar, for instance, with an ender on uh, 50 or 52% for the same weight. So the print speed, yeah, there is, um, there is uh, just 35 mm millimeter per second uh, possible because of the lightweight forming filament but here for the travel speed I go really up to 600 uh, millimeter per second that's quite a lot and the acceleration is also quite high with uh, 12,000 millimeter per square second uh, travel as you know there is uh, no uh, retraction possible so it is not set cooling always 100% give me the best results and the uh, support settings, they are also uh, the normal ones, which I use for other printers, maybe on the Z distance, but also here I use the, the, the normal 0.2 for Z top distance and for the bottom temp the distance 0.3 and to the both to the sides X and Y 0.4. So this is similar to my other lightweight uh, profiles. Yeah. And I would say, let's slice some part and see how it looks like. So I sliced some part. It's a rocket holder for a big jet. One outer wall, 7% infill. A little bit support is needed. Also, we can check the build plate adhesion. Just the, the edges of this part stand off. That's why I use a brim. It's quite a complex part. The, the uh, SK-1 guard Wi-Fi, so we can use Octoprint, it's already everything installed here. Uh, the uh, second way to use the SK-1 is with your browser. You just have to type in uh, the uh, IP address that is shown on the display of the SK-1 and you can easily drag and drop um, your print files in here. Here you see it. You can use every slicer, uh, a G-code, then drag and drop it here or with one step less, you just have to click here on print with Octoprint and then everything starts automatically. So now we can see that the print is starting. Here we can see all the steps the printer is doing. But we can all see one disadvantage because, <laughs> but, but uh, better we, we don't see it. Uh, there is no camera uh, picture. So we don't have a live cam like here on the uh, Kiri Q1 Pro. I think this would be great if Two Trees had added a camera. This is a nice tool always to check if your print is working well. This is what I really miss here. Um, yeah, and this is how it should look like. But okay, let's wait for the print and the quality of it. So the print is starting. Well, the print has started. And with the first layer, I'm really happy with this printer. I just did a one time re-leveling. This was also no problem. Just go here to the settings, or better not when it is printing. But the, the layer adhesion from the first layer, or the, the, the Z0 leveling, this works really good. So now listen a bit to the sound, the normal sound. And when I open the door, yeah, this really helps. It's right, more, more quiet. Also the installation of the light here in front, right behind this bar is uh, really good. I really like it. It really gives good vision to the part itself. Better when open the door. And without light, without light it's really getting dark. So, so and also we can check just for checking the fan if this will work. Here we got all the fans. It's normally off. So just 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 for testing, let's see if this will run. Okay, I can't start it from here. Not possible. I think there's also a bug in the ah the, the model fan works, but the, the model fan I think this is a set from from Cura. Here I'm back on fluid, and when I go here to the levers from the fan, here I can here I can tune them. 
just a little bit and then see if they really work. But on the display this doesn't work. There I can't move it. So the auxiliary fan isn't isn't working. I don't feel any air. But the, the, the case fan is working. Here just a little bit, but maybe you can hear it. So no. Now listen to the sound, you hear it, it's still quite loud. Let's see if it's getting a bit quieter. Ah, it's, it's still quite loud. So even with the housing, it's still quite loud. But I think this is, is um, nevertheless, it's a, big, it's a big plus for the printer. Because when, when I want to go printing ASA or ABS, uh, ASA or ABS, uh, I need a lot of temperature into the housing and without housing this uh, wouldn't, be po wouldn't be possible anyway. So it's a plus, but uh, the, the, um, the big disadvantage on this printer, this, this loud noise, we still got. And it's also a very high no noise and these high noises, they, they go through everything. I would say the, the big dis disadvantages on this printer are these, these bugs on the display that here is not everything working we don't have a preview picture then here is something wrong with the showing something wrong with the uh, wireless LAN even if it works and we can't we, we just can't uh, change the, the, the temperature in here so this this doesn't work the settings the, the setting buttons just don't work that's quite a mess also with the fans, yeah, even when I move them on on fluid, here I can't move them. Just the model fan. I think I think here has something to be updated. But even with this relatively loud noise, the print quality is really good. I am really happy with the print quality. Also with the Z leveling, everything works nice. Just the sound, just this loud stepper motor sound, it's a bit annoying. The part is growing. As we can see, the printer is fast and loud, but the quality is really nice. See that the, the panel lines come out really good. And foaming PLA is not easy to print. And, ah, <laughs> Crazy how loud this is. And it's really fast. Six hundred millimeter per second. With the zigzag surface, oh, okay, it's finished. That's it. That's it. Then let's grab the part. Build plate is cool. Was not heated. Let's do a first inspection. Both sides. Maybe it's a bit too hot with 270. I will go two degree down because of these little pinholes in the surface. This is a sign for over foaming. But nevertheless, this looks really good. And here we can see some footage before the SK-1 was upgraded with the housing set, just for comparing. Oh, that's good. The other, not that good. And here also you can you can hear this printer, it's quite loud when it's moving fast. It's a bit screaming. I think it's the loudest of all the three printers. I'm still rising the temperature, now it's on 264. And one issue is, if you try 
if you try to adjust the temperature here, just not working. Not, not working. This works, escape works, but that's also with the print bed. No adjustment possible on the display. You have to go to your computer and do it there. But the quality also looks good. All is lightweight PLA, so can't be printed without this oozing. The SK2 is getting onto the final and the quality is getting better and better. I'm super surprised. It's absolutely incredible. Now I'm printing with 266 degree. Maybe I rise up a little bit, but it still looks very good and I'm looking forward to the weight of this part. This is the other side. So it's the second time I printed it. So my conclusion to the two trees, SK1, finally with housing. Yeah, it's a, it's a good printer. It's a good printer. It is almost everything was uh, automatically. For instance, the uh, leveling. This was really good. Yeah, this was better than, than on the Kili with this manual screws. Also, the print quality is good. Here I got some part. It's a really big part for a jet. And the quality is amazing. There is, I'm really happy with the quality. Um, of this printer. It also has a huge printing area. Let me take a look aside again. This was this 256 uh, millimeter in cubic and also we got on the outside these positioning points. So uh, we, we don't have this problem like on the Kidi with positioning the, the print plate. This runs good. The only minus point on this printer is it's it's the noise. It's really noisy even with this uh, housing. If you have a closed room where you can put it in, I think this is not a problem. The rest is uh, really good. It's fast, it's solid. Yeah, it's a good printer.